Praise the Lord, everybody. I just want to come off for a few minutes today to talk to you about your iniquities may separate you, but God still loves you. Our scripture reference is coming from Isaiah 59, verses 1 through 3, and I will read it for your hearing. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, and your tongue has muttered perversity. Amen. Now, in these particular scriptures, it gives reference to the Lord is not far that he cannot hear you. He hears you just fine. But it is the sin that separates us, meaning sin pushes us away from his presence. Not his love. He still loves us. However, he allows things to happen to get us back into the right standing with him. Just like when a child does something wrong, you chastise the child and you may even be upset for a minute, but you still love them. You're just not happy with what they did. That's the same thing with God. When we sin, he's not happy with what we did, but he still loves us. When we sin, especially intentionally, we are partnering with the devil. He wants to see us fall. He wants to take us to hell with him. I ain't going there. That would not be a good fit for me. Mm-mm. That is why I forgive daily. Hallelujah. And I ask God to forgive me. When you sin, it is hard for you to hear God clearly because you are far from him. And that's one thing you don't ever want to be is far from him. You have got to get serious with this walk with the Lord. It is time out for playing because the devil is not playing with you. He wants your soul. And times are changing so much that you don't know what you will hear on the news from one minute until the next. But if we repent and turn from our sins and transgressions, then Jesus will continue to intercede for us. Change your heart, hallelujah, and change your mind and draw near to him while you still have time. In Jesus' name, amen. So with that being said, just know that God loves you and that I love you. And if you need prayer, just let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.